Welcome to yet another video review at our Optic Straight channel. Today I'm going to talk about a really special uh, rifle scope, the new Swarovski Z8i, uh, introduced in 2018. So as you probably know, already two years ago the Z8i came out with uh, four different models, 1 to 8, 1.7 to 13.3 by 42, then 2 to 16 by 50 and 2.3 to 18 by 56. So basically we thought that all the, all the main categories are covered and most of us, including me, expected that they will uh, show a new Z8 uh, in the upper magnification range. So something for let's say 4 to, to, to 30 or something like that. Uh, but what happened is that they introduced 0 0.75 to 6 by 20 something what nobody really expected since no one else in the world at the moment is producing rifle scopes with a starting magnification below one most of the producers have big problems already achieving one not to speak about the magnifications under one i also have to be honest i never knew about any advantages that this could bring i never thought out of the box that it would be possible to produce a Rifle scopes with a magnification below, below 1. Um, so, when I talked to Swarovski people, they said that this idea is old. That they were already thinking about this when they were doing the Z6. But they say, okay, if we do 0 0.75 in a Z6 line, that would mean that the upper magnification would be 4. And let's be honest, 4 is a little bit low. So now when they have an 8 times zoom, they say no problem, let's do it today because honestly 6 times magnification is more than enough. And the ability to go below 1, as you can see the magnification ring clicks here at 1, is something completely new. Um, it goes a little bit into the field of red dots, even though I have to be honest it doesn't work as good as let's say a normal conventional red dot. But what does it offer? It offers the possibility to have an extremely wild, uh, wild, uh, wide field of view, not wild, wide. So at 0 0.75 this rifle scope has 56 meters of field of view. We all know that most of the rifle scopes stop at around 40 43 is already an impressive achievement, 44, I don't know if anyone even produces it. Uh, but to have a 56 meters of field of view at 100 meters, this is something special. And where it can be used? Well, the main idea is on close range, but all one to something rifle scopes are meant for close range. They're all meant for driven hunts, mostly, or for CQB um, applications if they are tactical or more and more common uh, for the IPSC shooters. They also are using this one to something, uh, one to four, one to five, one to six, one to eight or one to 10 uh, rifle scopes. So close range in regards to this rifle scope means everything closer than 20 meters. So if you look at with 1.75, let's say at 25 meters or 30 meters, you won't see much of an advantage compared to the 1 to 8 model. But when you look at 5 meters, the world changes. Then a magical thing happens, and this is that with this, binocular, uh, with this rifle scope, you're able to see much better. You see a wider field of view, and it's easier to use it with both eyes open than a normal one. So when you start to observe items closer, let's say on 10 meters, 15 meters, or even 5 meters in this range, then you see the advantage of this rifle scope. So what this basically means, that means if you go on a driven hunt, because this is a, normally a hunting scope, um, and you are set on a driven hunt somewhere in really dense forest or, or similar landscape, and you know that you will shoot either on 20 meters or closer, then you put it on 0 0.75 and you have the advantage over the normal 1 to 8 model. When you put it on 6, and want to shoot a little bit longer, I wouldn't say that there is a much of an advantage of an 8 time magnification. If you look this one 6 and the other model 8, 
I would say, well, you have a small advantage with the eight time magnification, but it's really, really small. And it's smaller than the advantage that you have on, let's say, 10 meters when you're able to put on 0 0.75. So basically, this is really meant for the extreme close range. This rubberscope also has an option that you can put on at the ballistic turret flex. It just clicks on it. You can see my other video about this. So in this regard, it's completely the same like all other Z8 scopes. And normally with a BTF turret and on a six time magnification, you can shoot also, I would say comfortably up to 250, maybe even 300 meters. So this is a truly all around wide angle scope with an extreme wide angle uh, possibility on, on magnifications below one. What is still true, the eye relief on this uh, is around 90 uh, millimeters. So it is basically still the eye box is a little bit better than one to eight model, but basically it's still not as good as on conventional red dots, let's say on Doctor, on Aimpoint and, and similars. So you are not exactly getting a true red dot with this uh, rifle scope, like you are not getting it with any other wide angle rifle scopes. But on the other hand, with a red dot, you're limited to 50, 60, maybe 70 meters. With this one, you're not limited because you can go up to six time magnification and there is no limit on how far you can shoot. Uh, when you see the other appearance, it's almost the same like on 128 model. It is a little bit shorter and a little bit lighter. So this one is uh, 28 uh, centimeters long and it weighs uh, exactly 500 grams. It can be ordered either with a rail, like this model, or with rings. And there are three reticles available. One reticle is a normal 4A, the other reticle is 4A uh, IF, so the flex reticle, where you can choose with the push of both buttons at the same time, uh, if you wish to have a circle around the dot or only a dot. So it's a really interesting reticle because it offers two possibility. When you turn off the outer circle, you actually don't, you're not seeing it. So it's really, really nice. You can also search on our YouTube channel how this reticle looks on those videos where we show reticle subtensions in the woods on a, on a target which is 100 meters away. Uh, so you get a 10 years warranty with this rifle scope and uh, normally a user manual. Uh, if you if you order it with rail, you also get a nice uh, insert for the rail so that you close down when it's uh, mounted and you get a really high quality lens covers. Um, about the reticles, all the reticles, all three which I mentioned are second focal plane. So when you change the magnification, they stay of the same size. So they're really, really thin on high magnifications. Uh, they're all very brightly illuminated, daytime usable, and they have an switch we already all knew uh, with two positions one is for low light on this side the other one is for daytime is on that side and then you're able to uh, to use plus and minus to finally uh, to really fine-tune the illumination that it that it's correctly set for the for the lighting conditions in which you are which you are facing at that moment so the illumination is really really good the new reticle, the DI, this one is the DI, uh, it, o it only features a central dot and nothing else. So this is the closest you can come to a red dot uh, feeling in a, in a wide angle rifle scope. Um, they also have all of them and this, this model including um, has the position sensor. So that means that uh, the illumination control saves you energy when you put the, the scope to either side or up or down, it turns out uh, turns off the illumination automatically and saves battery life. This is also something that is very good. The turrets are the same like on all Z8 models, so much better than before. Still made out of plastic, but the feel and the click sound is better. And you can put the ballistic flex turret on top. Uh, the caps are a little bit bigger than they were on the Z6 line, like this one. Oh. And the side turret also carries the additional spare battery, which you just push 
here and it drops out. So this is really nice. If you ran out of, of battery, you always have a spare with you. A really, really smart idea. Um, so if I make a short summary, this is probably, I already said for one to eight model, it's a perfect choice for driven hunts. I would say this one is a little bit better even. It depends what kind of driven hunts do you have. If you, if you have situations where you shoot often on really, really close range, I would say 20 meters or less, then this is the better option. It offers you wider field of view and it offers you better possibility of using both eyes open while aiming at really, really close range. Uh, if you have the opportunity to, to try them out in a shop or somewhere, just look at something that is five meters away with both eyes open and you use this model and one to eight, the standard model, and you will see the advantage of this one. Um, I would also say that this is probably one of the best wide angle rifle scopes uh, if in terms of uh, possibility of use with both eyes open. It's really high quality. What is also funny, the price is the same like a one to eight model. So the same price, but you get a little bit different scope. I also think that um, in terms of sale, I'm sure that half of the users will go for this model and half will probably go to one to eight. Because with an eight time you get a little bit more on the upper side, with this one you get a little bit more on the lower side. So it all depends what kind of driven hunts are you doing. Um, I didn't mention, but the optical quality with the, it was my concern how good will a rifle scope be with a 56 meters field of view. And I have to say that uh, this uh, 0 0.75 to 6 excels because it, in optical terms, in, in edge sharpness and uh, central sharpness and so on, there is no real difference compared to 1 to 8 model, which is already probably a best wide angle scope until now. So even though the field of view is extreme, you still get superb optics. So all stars for Swarovski here. Um, so all in all, a really great product. It is really hard for me to find any any uh, soft wind on it. A, a really important point is that uh, the price is the same like on one to eight. So I can only recommend it. Thank you for watching. If I forgot anything, please send us an email or use comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.